When I got into all this stuff, there was just so many things like tarot, astrology, Kabbalah, like all these things. And it's funny because a lot of people will say this stuff is evil, but I really feel it's like a tool and it could be it's a used. clock. Yeah, exactly. And I, I uh, have you ever heard of Michael Tessarion? Um, I don't think so. He's uh, a yeah, would know if you knew. Him. <laughs> yeah, you would know. Um, He's just one of these guys. He makes videos and writes books and stuff right now, but he's been on to this stuff for a long time. And he is really into studying history. And he thinks that it was all at one time. It was like one science all combined, one art form. That That's the like. syncretism idea. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like that. It's yeah, similar. It, it's similar to that very much. And I'm, um, yeah, I do. So do you think that's what it was? And then they split it up, gave everyone a piece <laughs> of the puzzle. Yeah, I think just like language, that's kind of what happened too. we got split up that way and they were made to uh, well, first they were demonized and then also they were made into certain clubs where some, you know, some people had this and some people had that. It's kind of like you ever watch the G.I. Joe movie with the weather dominator, you know, like the weather dominator gets split into three pieces and it's all over the world. Like, I think that was an allegory for uh, belief systems or something. But yeah. And I always tell people it really isn't for everybody. If you have an aversion to it, especially tarot, then maybe you should stay away from it. It's just like a gun, you know, mm. um, because Good I remember point. when I first was got into guns and everything, I was like super excited about it. And I would always carry my gun with me. And not that I don't now, but allegedly, <laughs> but I was more like in, on this mission to like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to save the world. And it was all coming from the ego. Yeah. And now I look at it in a totally different light, whereas it's just a tool on my tool belt and hopefully I'll never have to use it. But if I do, it's there. And then I have to also deal with the consequences of it. And then same thing with tarot. A lot of times you go to a tarot reader and they try to just like a doctor and regular allopathy, you know, they try to get you hooked in. So now that you're their client and then they have to help you with every single thing. The way that I view it is more like a way from self-healing and self-love. And plus, I've done all this research in the past like six or eight years about psychology and all this stuff. So I could sprinkle it in with my reading without trying to preach to somebody and they're coming to me for information, you know, and then I just really let the synchronicity kind of do the rest. And the way that I feel about astrology is I feel like you said, it's like a clock that's up in the sky and it somehow reflects what's going on here i don't feel like there's planets that make us do these things i think it's just a reflection of what's going on so you can look up at different aspects and when they're going to change and then you know what's going to happen and another thing that really helps that's like time isn't real you're you're saying that we're just tapping into like what's already happened like what what is rather than what's about to happen yeah exactly and Another thing that's really helped me with astrology is I was deeper into it when I first got into it. I got a book and I looked up all my different planets and I read about the different stuff and the aspects. And it just helped me accept myself for who I am instead of trying to change myself. And then once I was able to accept it, I could let go of things that I perceive maybe as negative. But it wasn't like I was always beating myself up because I was a certain way. I go, oh, I get it. This is the way that I perceive reality. And this is the way that I act, but it's still up to me to be a good person. I can't just blame my, you know, I'm a cancer. It's not my fault that I'm being a dick, you know, like that's you should clip that. That was fucking phenomenal. The way you just said that. Go on, go on. That That could be the clip, Brandon. Yeah, there you go. All right. (laughs) Awesome. I agree. Put that part in. (laughs) So that's what I, I always tell people. If you're interested in it, there's plenty of information, free information online. It's really just about getting to know yourself because I also got really deep into the personality types. And if you find the right information on that, there's a lot of really good information too, because it really is about getting to know yourself. And then the more you know yourself, you can love yourself and then you can love other people, but you really have to fix yourself first. It's like, when they say, uh, you know, when you're on an airplane and something crazy right. happens, the oxygen masks drop, you got to put yours on first. And that being on a plane is kind of like being a normie. Everything's fine. But then, you know, something goes wrong. It's like, what the hell? That's when, like when you wake up and you're like, oh, my God, this world is not what I thought. It's totally inverted. Everything I've ever learned was a lie. And you want to just go share it with everybody. And that's where I think people get caught in a trap because then they're pointing the finger at everybody else. But if you could just learn to put your oxygen mask on first and to heal yourself, then you could really help other people. 
I just thought of something as you said that. <clears throat> oh my God. Because like some people are, you know, might say like, well, what if I put the oxygen mask on my baby first before I put it on myself? Right. So, but I just thought, I just got this vision in my head about like, if, if you and lots of people around you were drowning, you have to save yourself first. You, you can't save someone else if you are drowning yourself. So yeah, first, a, tow, a tow truck can't tow out a car if if the tow truck is caught in a ditch also. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So oh, like it's, it's like that, right? It's like, yeah. <laughs> good I'm analogy. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is, man.